single word do we say? It's a friend of mine and not a friend. Still, I know where I go to me. I can sing a sound to my feet. And you smile as much too discreet. Sends me on my way. Wouldn't it be better not to be so cold? was written in the 1960s and was made famous by the uh, trumpet player Louis Armstrong.
on the program, up next, we have a song called I'm a Train. <laughs> well, this song is actually uh, very, very exciting. Uh, have you, has anyone of you guys in the audience heard of the King Singers? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, the King Singers is a group of six gentlemen. Um, it's a cappella group, and they perform this song. Um, I would say for them, it's more like a high-speed train. So for us, we're going to perform this just as a regular train. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so uh, again, this is an a cappella piece, uh, meaning we have no instruments to back us up. But when you keep listen to this piece, think of the train. Not the modern sky train, but the old kind of trains that kind of go chicka, 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 chicka. OK? So here we go. I'm a train. <laughs> That was pretty good, right? <laughs> if you haven't heard of that, if you haven't heard that song before, now you have. Um, so the next song we're gonna do is another uh, acapella song, acapella piece. This time it is. Uh, originally sung by the real group. Anybody heard of the real group? No? Well, if they're the real group, that doesn't mean that we're, well, anyway. <laughs> uh, so anyway, this song is called I Sing, You Sing. Now, don't worry. We don't expect you to sing. You just relax. You know, you're taking your five minute break here right now. Um, this song is really, Interesting, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the lyrics because it might go by too quickly uh, without, and you might not even hear what's going on. But it talks about a song, a melody, which you meet one day and it gets stuck in your head. Um, then it says something like, it asks if it could stay, what does it say? In my bed. Oh, it asks if it could stay in my bed, <laughs> but I had no choice or something like that. And basically, this melody becomes this relationship with this person and they're trying to get it out of their head, and they even wish they were dead. <laughs> so, um, here we are. I sing, you sing. If you do get this song stuck in your head, I'm truly, truly sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Another song, another song. 
one song to sing. I made a melody today, didn't ask if it could stay. Now a demon wants to share my bed. You know, at first it wasn't okay, but as it never goes away, it drives me insane. I almost wish I were dead. I can't get the melody out of my head. Sing you, sing the new, sing the new, sing the new song we all sing. Sing you, sing the new, sing the new song when I sing you, sing along such a lovely song. I would pay almost any price to get a good result of advice. How to leave this parasite behind? You hear it once, you hear it twice, and like the snake in paradise, it gets you first and then it conquers all humankind. I can't get the melody out of my mind. Sing you, sing we all, sing the new, sing you, sing the new song we all sing. in the audience would agree with that. I'll show your bling. <laughs> well, in this song, um, if, you, if you heard the song before, you've probably seen Marilyn Monroe perform this. Um, but it was also made popular by uh, the movie Moulin Rouge. Maybe it's not the right crowd, since most of this music is from the 1950s and 60s. <laughs> but anyway, so it talks about so, um, how people, men, and women, ladies and gentlemen, we all get old, but you know what? At the end of the day, diamonds, that's really where the worth is at. <laughs> but uh, we hope that is not the case. We will actually find love in one another. But here, here's the song, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend.
That one was a little bit sassy, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have one last song to perform for you tonight. It's called Don't Sit Under the Apple Tree. Now, this song was actually written during the World War II, <laughs> and it talks about a uh, you know, boy and a girl. They probably met, fell in love, and then all of a sudden the, guy, the boy, the, ma the man, <laughs> has to, is going to be shipped off to war. So he says, you know, when you're off there, please don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else. So here it is. Don't sit under the apple tree.
Well, hello there. Good evening. My name is Jalen Bate. I'm the director of the Vancouver Orchestra Jazz Band. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, many of you that came to our previous shows noticed that I'm no longer up here waving my hands and then said I picked up two sticks. Uh, the reason for that can really be summed up quickly, uh, budget cuts. <laughs> we couldn't hire a drummer this time around, so they are stuck with me. Um, I'm so happy that you came out because we have a really, really nice five song set planned for you that really spans what a jazz band can do. You just heard uh, an arrangement of Nora Jones's Don't Know Why. I do know why, it was awesome. Um, uh, at a pop, it was a pop song recorded by the singer-songwriter who has a lot of different connections in a lot of different parts of the world. Uh, she was originally actually born a Canadian um, before she migrated to the States and has had quite a great career. That featured Greg on the trumpet with a melody line all the way from England. He flew over just today, played it, so it's great. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> Uh, just a little bit about the jazz band. Uh, you may have heard from Tom that the choir went to New York, but recently the jazz band did something pretty special. We went all the way to Oaken 45th and played our first solo jazz. I worked a lot on that joke, so thank you for your laughter. Uh, and we played our first solo concert that the jazz band has ever done. It was really, really great, really successful, and we're looking to do more as the, as the uh, year and season goes on. So we hope to see you coming out to our future shows. Uh, our next song uh, really features jazz band in the Disney setting. Uh, a lot of film music uses classical music and different types of pop music nowadays to showcase uh, different musical styles. But jazz band has always been kind of limited until very recently with the likes of Mr. Randy Newman uh, <laughs> writing for Toy Story, A Bug's Life, The Incredibles, all these great Disney shows that I'm sure the younger people in our audience will enjoy, and also myself. So this next tune is called The Flick Machine from, the bug, uh, from A Bug's Life. I'm not actually that caught up on Disney movies. Don't, don't go worrying yourself. Uh, and this one is going to feature Alan on a trumpet solo and the entire sax, trumpet, and trombone section. Rhythm sections are always just great. No, no bias. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy The Flick Machine. Uh, and this is going to feature Alan on trumpet.
trumpet and in a piece like this I cannot afford to look over my awesome trombone section today just two of them but the awesome Nafisa Duji and Brad Kerr We spent so long over the last season really working on instrumental jazz, so we wanted to do something a little bit different. Considering that this concert is in partnership with the VOC Choir, we thought we'd include a little bit of vocal jazz for you guys. Being a jazz band director can be really, really stressful, let me tell you. And over, these last, over this last week, I've gone through about three singers trying to nail down these parts just because people are getting sick. One person conveniently went to China on vacation without telling me. <laughs> But, however, the gods sent me a really, really great gift in the great Julia Walmsley, who shall now introduce herself. <laughs> she's a big deal, so I'm, I'm trying to make it a big deal for you guys. Anyway, she's going to take this, this mic away from me because I'm doing a terrible job right now. <laughs> and sing two vocal jazz songs for you. Uh, You've Got a Friend in Me, again by Randy Newman. I was going to dress up as Woody, but my, I found my self-respect just in time. <laughs> Nothing really, okay. And on the sunny side of the street, another jazz classic. So I hope you guys in friend, enjoy first up, sunny side, and then you've got a friend in me. He lied, one more Randy tune first. <laughs> Freak me out like that. I don't always know what I need. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Remember what your old pal said, yeah, you got a friend in me. 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 You got troubles when I got them too. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you. We stick together, we can see it through, yeah, you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am, bigger and stronger too, maybe. But none of them would ever love you the way I do. Just me and you, boy. And as the years go by, our friendship will never
your hat, leave your worries on the doorstep, just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street, can't you hear the pit of pat, and that happy tune is your step, life could be so sweet on the sunny side of the street, I used to walk in the shade. over if I never have a cent I'll be rich as Rockefeller dust at my feet on the sunny side of the street Thank you, Julia. She's so short. <laughs> I usually before these shows, I spend a lot of time thinking about what I'm going to say and trying to write out jokes. And my friends and parents always say, don't be funny. But then I get up here and I make a jerk of myself. Trying to entertain you all. So it really, it really encourages me when I get some type of uh, response out of you guys. So thank you so much for being a great audience. The band and I both really, really appreciate it. Our next song is going to feature the entire band, but especially Rosie on piano. Uh, this is a Benny Carter tune. And the reason that's so significant is because Benny Carter is one of those writers that is absolutely legendary in the jazz band world. Uh, how many of you guys are familiar with the Count Basie band? All 12 of you. Yes, <laughs> so Count Basie used to be um, a legend in his own right. He used to be Katy Perry with, without the hair. <laughs> the band liked that one. <laughs> but Benny Carter was his uh, main, main writer. And at one point when they were gaining really, really at the top of their success, uh, Benny Carter decided to write a suite of 12 pieces um, about his main writing home in Kansas City. Kansas was a really big center for jazz band and blues back then. Uh, so he entitled the suite, The Kansas City Suite. The next song, Vine Street Rumble, comes from one of the main streets in Kansas City, Vine Street, uh, and pays homage to where he learned about the blues from some of his teachers and how that found its way into the Count Basie sound. Uh, it's a really, really great choice right, because it features the entire saxophone section, but it never lets you forget about any one person. Uh, and I really, really hope you enjoy our rendition of Vine Street Rumble because it really is a killer tune. Our next show is June 21st. I hope to see you guys there. Thank you all for coming out. It's been great having you and enjoy Vine Street Rumble.
Thanks, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks so much for coming out.